uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia. I forgot what Manny Pacquiao's fight schedule is. When can he fight? So let me tell you what happened from what I'm getting All from right, it. We've got a spe- Mikey Garcia was riding around with this beautiful woman. I'm guessing they're coming from a function or doing an interview or something. And Lou Diamond Phillips couldn't keep his mouth shut. So he starts spilling the beans. All right, we've got a sp- By the way, the source, her name is, what is her name? Joanna Kier, she's what? Sports investigative presenter, BT Sports. Blah, blah, blah. All right, all right, all right. Well, she's the source. So he couldn't keep his mouth shut. All right, we've got a special up close exclusive. <laughs> and you know how them sexy, hot, seductive reporters be. They be like, oh, come on, give me a scoop, Mikey. Come on, give me a scoop. You know, come on, just, just let me be the first one to break the story, Mikey. Give me the scoop. That's how they be, all seductive and shit. All right, we've got a special up close exclusive with Mikey Garcia here, who's you, of course you. gonna be fighting Pacquiao. When are you fighting Pacquiao, Mikey? Well, we're uh, finalizing all the details, but um, we hope to get get the data exact in the next few days. Get an exact date, um, location, everything. We'll but be, we're looking uh, at but, May, right? Well, we're we're trying to get everything done for May. Um, I mean, it's been in the works for a long time. It's been in the works for for a few years, and particularly more 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 uh, in detail in the last year, uh, right before COVID, uh, you know, happened. But uh, now, you know, in the last few weeks, you know, about a month or so, we've been getting very close to to working on this, to fi- finalizing this, and I'm pretty excited. You know, I'm pretty excited. We'll have we'll have the the the, the the, all, all the details say in, in the next few days, a matter of time. Oh, yeah, he um, is so smitten. Far, it seems like all the parties are on board, and I just, I'm excited for it, you know? And how does this feel for you? I mean, you say you're excited, but obviously, someone like Pacquiao at this point in your career, I mean, what does that mean to you? You've obviously been improving, improving, and now you get to fight such a legend himself. No, definitely. Look, it's it's, it's a great fight. Um, I think it's great for my career and for, for the fans. I think it's, it's very exciting for for boxing in general to see uh, this type of fight, you know, and, and we, like I said, we've been working on this for years. It's been rumored for many years. Uh, most recently, a year ago, we were almost ready to do this before COVID happened, and now it seems like things are, are back on track. Um, and just to share the ring with a living legend like Manny, you know, it does, you know, amazing things for my career. And I just really hope that the fans uh, appreciate this because, you know, it's not very, very often that you see two of the greatest fighters Look, he you know, can't face each other. Up. And right now, you know, that's that's what, what I'm about to do. You know, I'm about to face a legend. All right. And just a little look back on tonight's fight. Uh, what did you make of it? Obviously, it only went three rounds. Yeah. Um, he threw in the towel. What were your thoughts? <laughs> well, I mean, I expected a little more. I think I expected more, uh, just like all the fans expected more from uh, Yield Dream. Uh, it's unfortunate that he didn't give us more, but you know when you really see Canelo performing, he he did what he does best. He came here to win. He came here to dominate. Look, she cut it off. She only cared about the the Pacquiao scoop. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. He was flapping his gums away for that woman. Anyway, y'all think he can do it? And when is it going to happen? Mini Pacquiao, he can fight in July. I forgot what his window is. Anybody know? Any of my Filipino bred, brethren in here? He can fight something like, he can fight in like what? When did he fight Thurman? He can fight around that time. But he has a very short window. So which means he got to like enter camp like soon. I don't know. It could be a bad money grab, man, because Mikey Garcia is still young. Even though I don't trust Mikey Garcia at at 147, he did better than I thought he was going to do, especially dropping Jesse Vargas at 147. Showed he's got some power up there. But still, no real details yet. Manny Pacquiao, WBA champion in recess. Of course, they're not going to strip him. They want those sanctioning fees. And now the WBA has how many belts? Five belts? Four? Because you know they're going to strap that interim on somebody. Look how many belts they got, bro. They got a super, your Dennis Ugas, a world, Jamal James, a gold, Virgil Ortiz, champion in recess. 
Manny Pacquiao. And don't be surprised if one of these become the interim champion. Don't be surprised, Omar Figueroa, there you go. He's going to fight Abel Ramos for the interim, I bet you. How much you want to bet that Omar Figueroa versus Abel Ramos on the undercard of Chris Arriola, excuse me, Andrew Ruiz versus Chris Arriola, going to be for the WBA interim? How much you want to bet? You want to bet me some money right now? Because the WBA are scum. And they're going to have five champions at 147 pounds. WBA, you make me sick. Burn in hell, WBA. Well, don't burn in hell. I don't wish that on you. But, you know, your your organization can, can burn somewhere. As long as you're financially cool. I don't want to wish anything bad on you know, your family or anything. But WBA, you make me sick. I bite my thumb at you. Ugh. Like that. Champion the man, don't 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 get me started on that WBA shit. It's just gonna make me mad. You know? It's gonna make me mad. Fucking sanctioning fees. But anyway, guys, let me get up out of here. We're gonna be back in about 12 or so hours. I got a whole bunch of work to do tonight. <sighs> T Street Controversy with Fight for Your Three City.com. Please subscribe.